Hello guys, welcome to the part 3 of the next cloud installation series. Today I'll be showing you guys how to remove the index.php in your next cloud URL. In order for us to do this, you're going to have to go into your command line and you want to cd or change your directory into your next cloud installation directory. And if you look in here, um, there is a config folder. So we want to cd into the config folder and we want to open the config.php file. So this is where we need to make the changes for us to be able to remove the index.php. So once we run the command, sudo using nano, which is my favorite text editor, we're going to have to come to below the file and we're going to have to add a rewrite rule for HT access. So once we add that rule, this is what I pasted. You don't have to change anything. Just paste it exactly as it is and add a comma at the end. Add a comma at the end. And once you save that, we're going to go back one directory. So we're going to go back into our installation directory. So we're going to go back into our installation directory and we're going to run a command here. We're going to use the OCC um, file to run a command. So in order for us to run the command, we're going to use the command I have pasted in the screen because we're using the uh, Nextcloud OCC script to update the HT access file. And we have to run that command as www-data. And once we do that, if we get an error like I did, which says we need to execute that file as the owner who owns the file for config.php, what you need to do is run this command to make to change the owner and the, or the, the user group that owns the file, config.php file, to www.data. As of right now, if we check, so I'm just going to run the command again, if we use ls.l, we're going to see that the config, um, sorry, I have to cd into, com into a config folder first. And now if we use the ll.l command, we can see that the owner of the file is root. So that's why we get the error. So we're going to use this command right here to change the ownership of the file and the ownership group of the file to www.data. Okay. I have a typo. So once we change that, now if we go ahead and run our original command for OCC, so I'm going to cd back to the folder where the OCC script is located. And now if we run the original command, sudo u wwdata, in this case, this is the user that's going to run the script using PHP to update the ht access file so if we run that you can see that our ht access has been updated and now if we go to a new browser and try to open cloud.geektogether.com you can see we have just the login instead of index.php so now the index.php is gone so thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe to the channel because that's the only way we can keep making these awesome videos for you guys to enjoy. Thank you and have a great day.